Hello, welcome to Emancipation Park's 149th annual Juneteenth celebration presented by Shell. Emancipation Park's Conservancy theme this year is Freedom and Justice and reflects the challenging year of 2020 and 2021 per social injustice and equality in our country. We Are Juneteenth is a national campaign that celebrates Juneteenth and its connection to the African-American experience, including the history, traditions, heritage, and culture. We Are Juneteenth is a digital platform that provides an opportunity to share and recognize the significant contributions African-Americans have made to help shape American culture and society. Emancipation Parks Conservancy's We Are Juneteenth 2020 virtual campaign reached over 250,000 people globally with more than 25,000 people engaging with its contents digitally. EPC is appreciative of your continued support. Thank you for loving Emancipation Park as much as we do. Thank you for tuning in and please enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome our host for this afternoon, KTSU's The Choice, Donna Franklin, and the Vibe Houston's Culture, Amir Diamond. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Juneteenth. I'm Donna Franklin. And I'm Amir Diamond, Yay! your host Yay! for Emancipation Park's 149th annual Juneteenth celebration presented by Shell. And on behalf of Emancipation Park Conservancy, we want to say thank you for tuning in and celebrating with us. Now, during the show, we need you to do us a favor. Share your experiences here on Facebook, Twitter, and and on Instagram with the hashtag we are Juneteenth because we want to see how you and your family are celebrating Juneteenth. So make sure you tag at EP Conservancy so that you can be reposted. Now, without further ado, Amir, it's time to get this show started. Our first act is no stranger to performing. I like to call him my nephew. He has graced the stage with greats such as Whitney Houston. Kim Burrell. Come on now. Mariah Carey. Come on now. Ah! <laughs> Please welcome singer, songwriter, Vincent Powell. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in one day when the glory comes it will be ours it will be ours oh one day when the war is won we will be sure we will be sure oh glory To the heavens, no man, no weapon Formed against, yes, glory is destined Every day, women and men become legends Sins that go against our skin become blessings The movement is a rhythm to us Freedom is like religion to us Justice is just a position in us Justice for all just ain't specific enough One son died, his spirit is revisiting us True and living, living in us Resistance is us That's why Rosa sat on the bus That's why we walk through Ferguson with our hands up When it go down, we woman and man up They say stay down and we stand up Shots, we on the ground The camera panned up King pointed to the mountaintop And we ran up One day when the glory comes, it will be ours, it will be ours, oh, one day. When the war is won, we will be sure, we will be sure, oh, glory. Oh, 
done We'll cry glory Glory Now, for every man, woman, and child Even Jesus got his crown in front of a crowd They march with the torch, we gon' run with it now Never look back, we done gone hundreds of miles From dark roads, heroes, to become a hero Facing a league of justice, his power was the people Enemy is lethal, a king became regal Saw the face of Jim Crow under a bald ego The biggest weapon is to stay peaceful We sing, our music is the cuts that we bleed through Somewhere in the dream we had an epiphany Now we right the wrongs in history No one can end the war individually It takes the wisdom of the elders and young people's energy Welcome to the story we call victory The coming of the Lord, my eyes have seen the glory One day, when the glory comes It'll be ours, it will be ours Be sure, we'll be sure. Oh, glory, we'll cry glory. We'll cry glory when it's all said and done. We'll claim it. Vincent Powell, oh, really good. Yes, what a great song to kick off this Juneteenth. I would like to take a moment to recognize and acknowledge all of our sponsors. Thank you for making this virtual experience possible. Now, hashtag We Are Juneteenth is generational. Our next act includes students from Blackshear Elementary, Jack Yates High School, and Young Women's College Preparatory Academy, and they're going to tell us what Juneteenth means to them, followed by a youth artist to sing a song full of hopes and dreams. So please welcome our future. Yay! Juneteenth to me means Freedom Day or Emancipation Day. I think for Texans especially, it means that we were free. It, it took Texas two years until our slaves really knew that they were free. And I think that feeling of knowing that you've been let go is just very important. And, in today's age, the things that Black people have gone through, is it's crazy. And having a day where we're able to celebrate ourselves and celebrate our culture and celebrate how we are, is I think it's a beautiful thing. I think Juneteenth is a special holiday for us. Yes. Juneteenth means to me opportunity. It is an opportunity to honor our ancestors and to remember the sacrifices that they gave away for us. Juneteenth is my independence. Juneteenth means freedom. It means that I am free to accomplish anything that I desire in the world. Juneteenth is a day of reflection to learn about the past and use that knowledge to aim towards change. The movement toward change includes things like empowerment. Empowerment includes discipline, processes, accountability, and autonomy. Empowering someone is not giving them their freedom, but by breaking those chains, we are free. I will leave you with this quote by Harriet Tubman, writer and civil rights activist. Now I've been free, I know what a dreadful condition slavery is. I have seen hundreds of escaped slaves, but I never saw one who was willing to go back and be a slave. Thank you so much for this opportunity to express my vision. Juneteenth means true freedom, liberty, and justice for all African American slaves. Even though slaves in Texas received the news two years later, it still gave a sign that black lives really did matter. For years now, we have been able to celebrate the emancipation of those slaves whose shoulders we proudly stand on.
Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening sky. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us Facing the rising sun as a new day begun Let us march on till victory Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberties Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies Let it Faith that the dark past has taught us Sing a song Full of the hope that the present has brought us Facing the rising sun Our new day begun Let us march on to victory Let us march on till victory is won. That was a great song. I'm impressed. Oh, me too. It was beautiful. The youth are doing it. We got to say thank you to our youth. Y'all did an amazing job. And hashtag we are Juneteenth is tradition and Emancipation Park is that and more. Here to give us a brief history about Juneteenth at Emancipation Park is Emancipation Park Conservancy's board member and the great granddaughter of park founder, Reverend Jack Yates, Mrs. Jacqueline Bostick. Hello, everyone. Happy Juneteenth. I am Jacqueline Bostick. And on behalf of Emancipation Park Conservancy, I want to thank you for tuning in today. As you enjoy the show, we want to take a few moments to recognize Juneteenth and its connection to Emancipation Park. Two years after slavery was abolished in the United States, Emancipation Park was founded by freed slaves led by Reverend Jack Yates of the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church and Reverend Elijah Stibble of the Trinity United Methodist Church. Their congregations and other people in the community came together and purchased the land for the Emancipation Park. In 1872, they formed an association composed of Reverend Jack Yates, Richard Allen, Reverend Elijah Stibble, and Richard Brock. This land composed of 10 acres was a space to commemorate their freedom, their community, unity, economic development, commerce, and property ownership. This park represented the first park in the city of Houston and the first park in the state of Texas. Today, 149 years later, we are still preserving this historic site for future generations to experience. Thank you for supporting the park, and we hope we can count on your donations 
to help with community resources while continuing to enhance the park for many years ahead. We look forward to seeing you in person next year for the park's 150th Juneteenth celebration. Thank you again, and please enjoy the rest of the show. Mrs. Jacqueline Bostick for sharing that brief history about Emancipation Park and Juneteenth. African American history is American history. To learn more about Juneteenth and Emancipation Park, visit epconservancy.org. Our next performer is one of Houston's favorite voices of spoken word. Her poetry captivates your emotions and takes you on an amazing and chilling journey. Please welcome poet Tina B. Our black skin like black soil buries stories of untold resilience. Like secrets beneath beds of broken lullabies that still bloom blues with thorns every time hope grows from hurt. And my melanin, melodies from heaven look like dirt as old as ancestors who tealed their tears with Negro national anthems in the ground they stood upon, singing, we shall overcome, but somehow thorns still seem to be as hard as the will to keep a ruby smile that bridges gaps to a side that doesn't want you, that doesn't want to embrace your history. They just want you to embrace your cleanliness to sweep thorns under rugs, call it the norm and press forward as if brokenness isn't scorned in your side. As if broken English and broken families haven't broken your stride toward privilege. A vine at midnight proves the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice is. Bitterness isn't what blackness produces. There is a reason and a cause behind our pain, just like there is rain in black soil. In black skin, kindred kinsmen of my skin, it's so refreshing to still see you smile. When I was a child, I knew more about blonde hair than I ever did pick a kink of my own. I thought straight hair was as right as a white Barbie who stood on a shelf looking as valuable, viable, wanted. Meanwhile, I didn't want my reflection on the back side of a shiny quarter. I thought my darkness was only worth anger. Anger at how long black ballerinas still had to spray paint their shoes. Anger at how long the Band-Aid brand didn't make bandages for our hue. Maybe they had no clue we were still hurting. Anger at how long courtrooms still allow cops to be acquitted and escorted from widows and weeping mothers, leaving us to raise sons alone. But dear kindred kinsmen of my skin, that doesn't have to be our song alone. Let your black girl magic and your black boy joy stand on the shoulders of black freedom. Let your blackness make noise. Kindred kinsmen of my skin, let the strength of your walk still march toward change. Let us celebrate who we are. And we are the people still standing. Thank you so much, Tina B. That was a great poem. It was beautiful. A great poem yes. to capture the Juneteenth theme of freedom yes. and justice. And we would like to recognize and acknowledge all of our partners. Thank you so much for making this virtual experience possible. Guess what, Amir? What's that? Next year is going to be massive. I already know what Huge, you're about to say. I already big. know. Ah! <laughs> and we cannot wait to celebrate 150 years of Emancipation Park. Let me say that again. 150 years of Emancipation Park and 50 years of KTSU. We're gonna be in person. It is going to be a celebration you will remember forever. I always like to say, it's gonna be a party, It's gonna be something that you will <laughs> never forget. It's gonna be a party, y'all. Now, hashtag we are Juneteenth is empowering, and our next performer is sure to help us feel that. I've seen her perform before. She's a force to be reckoned with, and her voice 
is powerful. Get ready to be inspired, y'all. Please welcome Nikita Clegg Fox. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun and just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrows till there's none so when i'm stuck in a day that's gray and lonely i just stick out my chin and i green and i say hey, the sun will come out tomorrow so you gotta hang on till tomorrow come what may Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day. A little bit of rainfall And you may hear the thunder The wall, and you feel like you've been through it all. Don't give up, no, 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 no,
Thank you. Be encouraged. Job well done as always. Thank you, Nikita. I try to tell y'all, incredible voice. And not only that, the song was fitting for the moment. She literally blessed my soul. Now, let's talk a bit about Emancipation Park Conservancy. Yes, Emancipation Park Conservancy is a nonprofit 501c3 charitable corporation established in 2014 to restore, manage, and enhance Emancipation Park. So for more information about Emancipation Park Conservancy, visit www.epconservancy.org. Houston is one of the most diverse cities in America. Mm -hmm. And it's led by an amazing man. Please welcome Mayor Sylvester Turner to offer a few words as we continue this celebration. Happy Juneteenth, Houston. This is Mayor Sylvester Turner, and I'm happy to support Emancipation Park Conservancy in celebrating 149 years of tradition and culture at Emancipation Park. The celebration is once again virtual this year, and the Conservancy has many activities planned for the community to experience. Juneteenth is a special day in Texas, thanks to my good friend and former state representative, Al Edwards. Al was a fighter who worked tirelessly for his constituents and led the charge in establishing Juneteenth as a state holiday. Thank you for tuning in and please enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Mayor Turner. I would like to recognize and acknowledge all of our sponsors. Thank you for making this virtual experience possible. And we want to remind you to share your experiences here on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with the hashtag we are Juneteenth. We want to see how you and your family are celebrating Juneteenth. So make sure you tag at EP Conservancy. And you can also drop your comments right below. So the next performer is great for the whole family to join in. North Side Soul Steppers, led by Renee Williams, is a line dance group out of Northeast Houston, comprised of seniors. And they show us that age ain't nothing but a number so grab a dance partner i got mine right here Hi. and let's groove please welcome north side soul steppers
Thank you, Northside Soul Steppers. Now that is how you celebrate Juneteenth. They made the singers look good. <laughs> we hope y'all are having a great time as much as we are, and we hope that you are enjoying the show. Don't forget to leave your hashtag, we are Juneteenth, in the comments. Emancipation Park Conservancy, hashtag, we are Juneteenth campaign may end today, but we encourage you to follow them on social media at EP Conservancy to learn more. Hashtag we are Juneteenth is reflection. We have experienced challenging times in 2020 and this year, from the pandemic to social injustice and inequalities to the winter freeze. Please welcome Dinky Drum World Percussion Ensemble to provide positive release for better days ahead.
you, Dinky Drum World Percussion Ensemble. What a great performance to capture the times. Our next speaker is a philanthropic sensation and has been on the front line of helping minority nonprofits receive support. Y'all please welcome this year's honorary chair, Darren Walker. Hello, Houston. Happy Juneteenth. I'm Darren Walker, president of the Ford Foundation, and it is my pleasure to be this year's Juneteenth Celebration Honorary Chair. Juneteenth is a day to reflect on how much has been accomplished, but it's also a day to remember how much remains. On behalf of the Ford Foundation, I want to thank the Emancipation Park Conservancy for extending the invitation to join the activities for this year's important celebration. So thank you again. Enjoy the holiday with family and friends. Thank you, Darren Walker, for joining us as the honorary chair this year. Our next performance is sure to capture our theme this year of freedom and justice. Please welcome Unified Praise with a brief introduction by founder Stacy J. Yes. Hello and happy Juneteenth. I'm Stacy J and it's my pleasure to celebrate Juneteenth with you today. You know, these last couple of years have been challenging and many have suffered loss and felt as though all hope was gone. But not so. Listen, no matter what it looks like, we're still standing. And this is your winning season. So sit back and enjoy this next performance by the Unified Praise Dance Company. Thank you for tuning in. We are Juneteenth. Up against your heart, the enemy came up against your children. The enemy came up against your name. The enemy came up against your character. You will win. Win. You. came up against your health. The enemy came up against your finances. The enemy came up against your vision. The enemy came up against your business. You will
can fight. But the question is, can you win? I came to tell somebody up in here tonight that there is something on the inside of you that's going to help you win in this season. And it's called a champion. You ought to open up your mouth and shout, I am a champion. Everything attached to you wins. I said everything attached to you wins. Can you point to your neighbor and tell them everything attached to you wins? Come on, let's say tell them everything attached to you wins. Just tell them, say, it's your winning season. It's your winning season. You've got God to carry you. You've got God to carry you. That's what he's going to do tonight. Because you can't afford to lose again. You can't afford what I need you to do because I realize that you can't say you are a winner but look defeated I need you to get up out of your seat and high five ten people across this room don't just stand your row tell them across the room that you will win come on high five ten people and tell them you will win you will win God don't work failures God don't call you defeated you are CJ and Unified Praise for that inspirational performance. Did you feel the goosebumps? I got chills. Ooh, I know I did. Now listen, we want to recognize and acknowledge all of our sponsors, partners, performers, and production team. Thank you so much for making this virtual celebration possible because we seriously could not have done it without you, so thank you. And you can support the park too. Help EPC continue their virtual programs and events by donating on their website at www epconservancy.org Ladies and gentlemen this is the saddest part I don't want to say goodbye we had so, we had much, so fun. much fun Yes it has been our distinct pleasure to be your host today we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we enjoyed planning it for you and to close out the celebration here to introduce the finale performance please welcome Emancipation Park Conservancy's amazing director Lucy Bremond Happy Juneteenth, everyone. I am Lucy Bremont, Executive Director of Emancipation Park Conservancy, and we hope you have enjoyed the show. From June 1st to June 19th, we plan several activities for the community to experience, including a virtual We Are Juneteenth campaign, allowing you to share what Juneteenth means to you in three words or less. This final performance brings us all together one more time and reflects the diverse makeup of our great city. Through all the challenges we experienced in 2020 and 2021, we continue to rise up and remain Houston strong. And we cannot wait to see you back here at the park next year where we're celebrating 150 years. We appreciate your continued support 
And thank you for tuning in and loving Emancipation Park as much as we do. Without further ado, please enjoy our final performance. And thank you again for joining us for the historic Emancipation Park's 149th annual Juneteenth celebration presented by Shell. Thank you so much. You're broken down and tired of living life on a miracle. You can't find the fighter. I see it in you, so we're going to walk it out and move mountains. We're going to walk it out and move. I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again Silence isn't quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet You mountains Take it to its feet You mountains And I'll do it a thousand times again 